Hello, my name is Yusuf Yagi, and my email is yusufyagi90 at gmail.com. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, type a basic program using um, Visual um, Studio. Sorry, Studio. C++. 6.0, currently downloading. Uh, the new version. All right, um, we're gonna be. Uh, you have to know some basic things. These forward slashes mean uh, tells the compiler that you are not uh, not to read whatever is on this line. So whatever you type on this line would not be read by the compiler. Um, hash key include. IO stream like this is actual an actual library you have to use in every single program and then under it you have to use sorry using namespace std uh, I believe it what it makes the compiler know the basic uh, commands like cn c out c out to actually print cn is to let the user input some stuff and uh, finally int main is actually uh, starting the body of the program you open the body you type whatever you want and every single also program you have to have return zero and then a semicolon and then close it so that's like the skeleton of a program. So we're actually going to apply it right now. I already have C++ open. Um, let me close it. Close the workspace. All right. I'm actually running on Windows Vista, but uh, classical view. So we're in C++, um, Microsoft Visual C++. Uh, Control N makes you open a new uh, project. You want to go to files, C++ source files, and select where you want to save it. I have it on my desktop, but in a folder called C++. An actual one program is kind of messy. It gives you so many files you actually don't need. So um, let me just, uh, hold on, let me just clear my file. Uh, Let's just clear out everything. See, it's like so many different files, and you really need one only. All right, so and now it's empty. Let's call it uh, lab one, exercise one. You could call it whatever you want. All right, so, um, sorry, I, all right, so, uh, Let's start with the let's start with the basic. Uh, include I O stream our best friend using namespace std semicolon and int main open and close brackets and open your body. Now, we're just going to do hello world, as I said from before. Uh, see out is the command we're actually going to be using, and the less sign, two of them. See out is just telling the compiler that you want to print it. Now, for the, uh, for the compiler to actually know it's text and not a command, um, open um, parentheses. No, uh, sorry. Oh, um, just put a quotation mark. There we go. And uh, type hello world. Uh, close it and uh, use the greater sign. S um, sorry, the less sign. Less than sign. And type end L. And is end and L stands for line. And then a semicolon. 
and then type in return zero semicolon and close if you have no errors um, of course you um, you wouldn't be able to tell unless um, you tell the compiler now let's compile the program control F7 uh, yes yes all right and compiling that one exercise one zero errors and zero warnings okay execute the program yes all right, here's our little tiny program called Hello World. Press any uh, key to continue. We're done. All right, just wanted to show you if I do um, C out and let's say I mix up the U and the O over here in C out and compile, it will tell me, well, here it says two errors. We could uh, scroll up. And it's saying C out undeclared identifier, and this is illegal. All right, no problem. It's illegal because it doesn't understand it right now. So just uh, you fix it, C out, compile. It's working fine. Now you could type whatever you want over here um, instead of hello world, welcome to the first C tutorial. You have to compile it again. You can't just run it. And then you run it. Yes. Alright, welcome to the first C tutorial. Press any key to continue. There we go, we're done. Now, um, when you want to exit, file, close workspace. Yes. If you're doing more than one C program, what happens at the same time? What happens is um, it will actually get mixed up. So this is you're actually closing the whole workspace. Now um, let's go to uh, where I have the thing saved. Um, control run. I have it saved in C++. All right. So you see all these files. You don't need them. You need only this one. .cpp. That's all what you need. See. All right. Delete and this is the only file I need. Open it, here's your program. Compile, it works. Run, it also works. And then guess what? The files are back here. So close workspace and C++ and delete all of them. All right. Thank you for watching and uh, happy programming, even though I don't like programming myself.